okay world is full of creativity and full of intelligence and i know you all are wondering what all these questions are bombarding and for today's video i have come up with the solution of these questions hi everyone this is dr shweta and i am back with another video we get many questions on daily basis from students research scholars and faculty about patents very general questions and i am ready today to answer those questions i'll be taking few of those questions in this video today so the first question which i get on daily basis what can be patented so the answer is anything which is directly from your mind but should be a product should be a process should be a apparatus or should be a composition or improvement of any of these the second question i get do i have to build my invention before filing a patent and a simple answer is no now listen the reason behind it the reason is that when you are writing down your, your patent your invention in the patent specification you just need to explain your invention in a detailed form depending upon the technology you are filing the patent office does not ask for the prototype of your invention until unless on examining they feel that it is a frivolous invention the third question which i get is if i tell someone about my idea will i be able to patent it or not see this is a very i would say subjectable question because i get this ans question every day that i have told my friend should i go i have told my relative should i go for filing a patent or not as a tony i always suggest that keep it secret if you have told your friend that is okay but don't disclose all the details especially the technical details of your project of your invention and if you are discussing with or you are going to detail with any third party try to sign a nda don't try but sign a non disclosure agreement before telling him or telling her why because after the publication of your invention they can object your invention the next question is i go for paper publication or patent first or if i have published my paper can i patent it yes you can patent it within one year of your paper publication logically but strategically as a attorney i suggest go for patent and then go for publication why because once you have given the detail in your research paper of your research anyone who is into the same field can do the modification or do the advancement over your research and can file a patent before you so first patent and then publish the next i am bombarded with many times i have been bombarded with this question who is inventor and who is applicant what is the difference so an inventor is a person who actually invents or do the research make the product come up with the idea and the applicant on whose name the ip rights belong a inventor can be applicant or the applicant can be a large entity can be a small entity can be a startup or can be a individual person inventor can be applicant please note it down because the ip rights belong to the applicant next question is what are the criteria to get patent if you want to get into the details you can watch my last video otherwise in a simple way there are four criteria first your invention should be novel worldwide second your invention should be non obvious and third your invention should have industrial applicability and the fourth is your invention should have patentable subject matter that means according to patent law of your country it should be patented now one very strategic questions which i always get from the students or the faculties of universities or academia that who owns my patent if i have made something or invented something during my course work or during my employability term so simple if you are filing it on your name the application is yours if the applicant is your university or your institution the applicant ip rights belong to them i would say so it's very simple that you need to review the ip policy as a individual as a inventor you need to review the ip policy of your institution and read down very carefully that what are the benefits provided to the inventors what are the uh, revenue sharing model for the inventor or technology transfer model for the inventor i have been many time asked what is the process of filing a patent or what is the process of patent filing process 
which I can say. You have to file a provisional or a complete application based on how much your invention or research has been completed. If you have completed your research, you will file a complete application. Within 18 months, your application will be published. Within 48 months from the first filing date, you have to file Form 18, which is request for examination. Once you file Form 18, your application will be reviewed and first examination report will be generated by the patent office. Once you receive your FER, you, your attorney or you have to reply to the objections and it can be one FER or two FER. After that, hearing will take place and then either it is granted or not. The next in the line is, can I patent my idea? And this question is like everywhere. I, I have an idea. I want to patent it. I have an idea. I want to patent it. My dear friends, you cannot patent the idea. The idea gets provisionally filed. That means there is a provision in patent law. If you want to secure the date of your idea conception, that means you can get a priority date by filing a provisional application and protecting your concept, your idea. The provisional application never gets granted and it also doesn't get published. I often get one question, should I be going with a patent search or not before filing my patent or should I invest on patent searching or not? See, there is no such legal requirement that if you are going or proceeding for patent filing, you should go for patent search, no legal requirement. But as a strategic advisor for intellectual property rights, I would suggest that as an inventor, you should go for patent searching. Why? Because you tend to know that you are not reinventing the wheel. You are not copying someone or infringing someone. And again, it will help you to do a focused research. One thing I would like to add here that patent search also saves you. Suppose without doing a patent search, you are going and filing a patent, which anyhow gets examined and gets granted. But you have not done a patent search, you had not done a proper research and you have already infringed suppose someone's technology, that person will sue you. So you will be ending giving more money than what you were giving while doing the patent search. Now, one very important question. What is the cost of filing a patent, especially for students, researchers? See, if you are inventor and you are applicant, that means you as a natural person is an inventor. Patent fees is 1600 rupees for patent filing, 2500 rupees for early publication where your invention get published within two months or three months of filing. And for form number 18, that means request for examination, the fees is 5000 rupees. This is government fees. Now it comes to the attorney fees. Every attorney has different fees. So you can choose the attorney very cleverly and very strategically, especially one suggestion, choose the attorney who have the background of technology also for patent filing. Now, the last question of this video today, is it important to take help of a patent agent or patent attorney for filing a patent? The answer is it is not important legally. You can file your patent yourself also. You can make your own digital signature. You can file your patent. You can visit the nearest patent office. You can file your patent. But strategically, I would always suggest go and please take help of a patent attorney or patent agent to file a patent because they will be guiding you throughout the process till from filing till grant. So before I leave, I request all my viewers to subscribe on my channel. And if you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. Do not forget to like this video. Thank you so much.